Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Red Honey. Today I'm making fajita chicken and rice, or fajita chicken casserole, I call it sometimes, it depends. I start by slicing up onion, bell pepper, jalapeno, and garlic, as well as chicken breast. I actually forgot the garlic this time, I don't know what was going on, um, but I used two red bell peppers, one orange bell pepper, and a red onion because I was out of yellow onions. To season the chicken, I use a fajita spice blend that I make. You can make your own or buy your favorite, the yellow packet in the grocery store of like taco fajita seasoning. It works just fine. Um, you'll just need about three tablespoons of whatever you use. Now to cook everything up, you're going to want to use an oven safe, pretty large saute pan or brazier. I will link this stove pan in the video description. I'm going to put the pan over medium high heat and add in some oil and then cook that chicken that you seasoned. Mine stuck to the bottom of the pan, which is okay. I just used a little bit of the chicken broth to deglaze the pan and I finished cooking. When it was cooked through, I added the bell pepper, jalapeno, and onion. Stir that together and let that cook for just a couple of minutes. I just want the peppers to soften just a tad. I'm adding kosher salt because the fajita seasoning that you saw me make, it didn't have any salt in it. So I am salting this dish as I go. I remove the peppers, onions, and chicken, and then it's time to toast the rice in a little bit more olive oil. I would normally toast the, or I would cook the garlic and jalapeno in the oil before I add the rice, but I forgot the garlic, so whatever. But after the rice is toasted, I add in the chicken broth, bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to medium, cover it, and cook it until it's almost completely evaporated, about 10 to 12 minutes. When the water is, or the broth is almost all the way gone, then I stir in the chicken and the peppers again, as well as about half of the shredded cheese that the recipe calls for. Now there are two ways to finish this dish. Both of them are in the oven, but one is broil and one is bake. If you would like a drier, kind of more of like a casserole type of finish, then you're going to want to put this in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes until it is bubbling and kind of brown. If you want it to be creamier like it is in this video, you'll see it at the end, then just broil it, which is what I did. After you smooth everything into an even layer, you're going to top it with the other half of the cheese or really about a fourth. I put about three fourths of it uh, in the actual chicken and rice. And then I broiled it for three minutes and then I served it. Normally you would want to let it rest kind of like mac and cheese about five to ten minutes so that it, it sits up better. But I didn't want to do that. I love this stuff. It is like perfect comfort food for me. It is warm and it's filling, but it's spicy. It's got a lot of flavor. Um, so I didn't let it rest and I this is my bowl. I couldn't eat all this. My stomach is not as big as my eyeballs, but I tried and it was really good. So Anyway, let me know what you think. If you make this, leave a rating on deepfriedhoney.com or a comment, whatever. Um, as always, thank you for spending three and a half minutes out of your day with me today. I hope you have a really good rest of your week.